CigarChick.com. I'm here at IPCPR right now at the Alec Bradley with Alan Rubin. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Also very stylish. I don't know if we can actually, if you don't mind, I gotta show off the shoes for a second. That wasn't one of the questions. It wasn't one of the <laughs> questions. I had to. So very creative. Well, we have uh, new things to show us at the show. What can we look forward to? Um, we have we have some line extensions. We have a, a new line extension called the GS57 in our family blend line that was actually honoring our national sales manager, our vice president of sales, George Sosa. Uh, he was instrumental in that line coming out, and it's become, I think, our second largest volume product of our company. And we felt, uh, you know, George is kind of a big guy, and it's a 60 ring gauge. We thought it fit. And uh, we don't, you know, we say the 57 is for the year he's born or possibly his waist size, but, oh, I forgot this is being video. No, no, just scratch that. Uh, but it's for George, and so that was one of our pieces. We now also have Prensado in a monster 64 ring gauge, beautiful box press cigar um, called the Double T. And so those are the two, uh, those are the two line extensions. And then behind us is one of our new releases called Alec Bradley Black Market. Uh, What's cool, like, you not only the cigar is good, I mean, everyone so far has been very receptive. I think you smoked it. I did. Uh, before the show started. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Um, so, but what's really cool about this, I mean, the packaging is kind of neat. It's got that old crate fall off the truck kind of feel to it. If you look, it's got the wooden box, that hobo logo on the front. Alec Bradley Shipping Company label on the, on the side here. Um, and this is a really cool part. If you look at it, it's got a double band. You pull the cover band off, the reveal band says black market. So kind of a neat feel to it. Uh, a lot of, I mean, the reception so far, you know, this is a tough craft. This could be a tough craft because there's a lot of new products that are being released and launched here. And uh, people have been gravitating to the product line, so I'm very happy about that. The other piece we have, and I don't know if I can get to it, is a fine and rare piece. Alec Bradley's first real uh, uh, endeavor of doing something extremely limited. It's a total of 10,000 cigars, and you also know about this cigar because we, didn't we look at the video? I think we did, right? Of, oh my gosh, yes. 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 So, and, and actually, you could probably tell the story as much as I could tell the story is this cigar uh, possesses 10 different tobaccos in one single cigar. I don't believe there's another cigar in the world that can make that claim. Now, the good news is, Teresa saw the video from my flip camera herself where she saw seven fillers, two binders, and a wrapper put into one cigar. It is an absolutely incredible cigar from, did you see it on Saturday or Sunday? Do you remember that? Sunday. Sunday night. That's very good because I'm having a hard time remembering Saturday <laughs> and Sunday. Uh, but Saturday we had to stop the sale since it was a thousand boxes. Uh, our reps called people. We sold 800 boxes in 15 minutes. And I said, just keep some for the guys that come in on Sunday. Sunday morning, we sold out. We were done. Yeah, watching the video is uh, like it. It was insane. Like, just, like there's just constantly pulling tobacco. And if you've ever watched, you know, the the rolling table, the size of this. Like, there's only so much space for tobacco, and there's like right. an extra table. It's like just he's reaching in all these directions. It was incredible to watch. Well, we, we you know we have one buncher, we have one finisher that rolls a pair. It's like, we call them the dynamic duo. Uh, it is amazing. And this kid, he's 25 years old. He's been rolling for six years. He truly has the hands of a surgeon, this kid. He is phenomenal. The finisher uh, is a, a girl named Antonia. Her, her husband is the supervisor of the entire factory. It's the only person that we will trust to do this cigar. Total production of 125 cigars a day total. And that's, you know, sometimes there's a couple things that go wrong. The foot may split. We get rid of it. We don't rewrap it. Um, sometimes a little bit off on our color selection on the wrapper goes away. So sometimes the productions end up being 112, 115, 18, and that's it. So it was an 18-week uh, endeavor that we rolled. We rolled it starting in March of 2010. We finished around July 2010. They've been sitting ever since. And uh, it's a pretty incredible cigar. The reviews on... The people who were able to purchase it just said it is by far the best thing you've ever come out with, probably the best thing we've ever tasted uh, in terms of what the show has to offer. And there's a lot of great cigars. And believe me, I know uh, very friendly with many of the manufacturers. There's a lot of great product, but when I hear feedback of guys saying this is the best thing we've smoked, um, I said, well, I'm glad you did because at 10,000 cigars, worldwide total production, uh, you know, if you get it again, I think we'll be lucky. So. That. That's too cool. I'm very excited about it myself. All right, I've got a question for you. Yes. So on a perfect day, you're having a cigar, you're having a drink. What are you smoking and what are you drinking? Wow, that is a good question. Um, 
let's say it's a little bit later in the day, you know, uh, maybe around dusk and it's a little bit cooler in South Florida, which is very much like where you live, hot and humid. Um, I would say uh, single malt, neat. Um, I really don't want to take the flavor away by icing that down. You don't do that with single malt. So. And I would say uh, either a Tempest Lancero or possibly the new Fine and Rare. Um, you know, all the seconds that we pull aside, I, I snuck those out of the factory in my bag because so, I couldn't take from production. So I, I would say right now it would be probably back to Tempest or, uh, or my Fine and Rare. There's a lot of uh, cigar smokers who, they've been smoking cigars for a while now, but they're ready to kind of find out more about the people behind the cigars they're smoking. They want to get those relationships with the brands. What's something that uh, that you want a consumer to know about you, your company, and the experience that you want them to have in your cigars? As a company, and I think this thread runs through our company, is we're real. We just are who we are. We are cigar smokers first. We don't bring something to market, hope it's going to sell, and look for margins. It's not who we are. We develop, we develop cigars. We smoke the cigars, and from that comes the concept. And you know, we, we have a, a new campaign. It's called Live True, and and it came from a text that I sent to somebody who I admire, someone in this business. And he said, you know, he texted something to me, and I said, man, just Live True, be yourself. And as I was repeating that story to my art director, he's like, Live True. That, you know, that's kind of who we are. And that became our campaign, and that's really what it comes down to: is be yourself, be real, be humble, and just let everything happen organically. I think that's what's important too. You definitely do it very well. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Okay. I'll be speaking with you soon. Take care. Be well.